and his 13-year-old son have been arrested. They're accused of starting an overnight fire in Pasadena that investigators say was sparked by illegal fireworks. As KCAL9's Greg Mills reports tonight, Pasadena police are concerned about a surge in fireworks calls over the weekend. Middle of the night. No, I woke up because of the sirens. Blazes more than two stories high. It was scary, you know, you saw the big flames coming. Destroys this garage, damages cars. The homeowner didn't want to go on camera, but told me waking up to this was scary for him and his family. Worried their home would burn too. Pasadena Fire says $75,000 damage, but they were able to keep it away from the house. The cause? Fireworks, which surprises no one on this stretch of El Molino, just north of the 210 freeway. Just lots of fireworks every single night. Uh, hear people out in the neighborhood talking to people about it, trying to get them to stop. It happens every night around here, and it go up in the air. I mean, like every night they've been doing that for the last two weeks. The city of Pasadena says fireworks complaints up 700 percent in June compared to recent years. We are getting firework calls every night, all hours. Lisa Dedarian with the city of Pasadena tells me they have video of the father and his 13-year-old son involved with this. Not a good example to set. I mean, this is embarrassing for him, his family. He now has uh, charges. Pasadena Fire says the damage here took hours to build. You see, fireworks went off around 9.30 p.m. and landed on the garage, they believe, smoldered there for hours and ignited around 3.30 a.m., startling those sleeping. I like hear my mom, like, screaming, like, like there's a fire. Burning next door. With hot weather, dry conditions, and the 4th of July, Pasadena Fire and police worry about what could be in store this weekend. Durian says both the 13-year-old boy and his 45-year-old father have been cited. That's a $1,000 fine, and both could face additional charges. In Pasadena, Greg Mills, KCAL 9 News.